Back when I was in elementary school, there was this legend about a place near my house, in the forest, where there was said to be this witch's house. And the witch apparently would eat little children that would come that way. But as long as you went across the river, the witch wouldn't harm you. She couldn't get you if you were on the other side. So I'm going to go and I'm going to investigate this. And I'm going to say that, although I'll be joking in this episode, Everything you see is is real. I'm not going to manipulate the footage in any way. I'm not going to play any big pranks on you. So, with that said, let's um, go ahead and cock this rifle and we'll head down the road. Okay, I've been walking through the forest for some time now, and I haven't been able to find it. Um, I don't. I think I've been out here for about an hour now, so I don't know if it really does exist. But I'm going to keep looking for just a little while longer. Anyways, this might be a really boring episode, but I, I do think it is around this area somewhere. Oh my gosh, I found it. Okay, I think I found it. I think. I think that might be it. Hold on, guys. Oh, there's something over there. I think, I think that's it. I think it's it. I think it's it. Well, folks, here it is. This is what the legends were telling about. It actually looks like how he described it. Okay, oh, gosh. It's actually kind of spooky. Oh, it's, it's overgrown a lot. Okay, let's see here. Okay, you don't mind having a little... Uh, all of you should look away from the camera for a minute because there's going to be some jiggly clamp... Cramp. Jiggly, jiggly, jiggle, 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 what? So, I, I'm sorry about that, but there's going to be some um, shaky camera work, so just look away from the camera for a second. Ah, okay. All right. Uh, hold on one sec. Okay, you guys can look now. Okay, yeah, it does exist. There's even a ladder in here. The witch must like to walk. I think the witch has abandoned this place because I don't see her living here anymore. So anyways, it's pretty cool. I didn't think it actually existed, so this alone is pretty amazing. I don't know, I might have just found somebody shed out in the forest, but it's just around the same area where they said it was supposed to be, so I think, I think this is the place. I just don't think it's, may not be haunted. But anyways, kind of, I mean, why is there this house right here in the middle of these woods, you know? It's just kind of random when you stop and think about it. Take a look at this, guys. Here's the river they said you're supposed to cross. So I, I have a feeling this really is a witch's house. Because this is just, just, there's a river just around this area. So I am guessing this is where the legends come from. Okay, so in conclusion, it's pretty cool that there's even a place out there like that. I mean, I think it's the witch's house. It matches the description. They said it was just a little shed, one room, kind of shabby. It, um... It's around a river. That, that's another part of the story. So, I mean, it, I personally think that's the place. Uh, but I didn't get any supernatural feeling going there. I didn't see any witches or ghosts. And I, for one, prefer to see evidence of stuff like that. I'm not interested in shaky photos or eyewitness testimony. I'm interested in the hardcore truth. But, so saying that, in the story's defense... I mean, it is kind of weird. There's this shed out there in the middle of the forest with no house close by with just a ladder in it. I mean, it's just, just kind of weird. So it, it's a good little legend to have for Garrett County, I think. But I don't know if it's true. Okay, so I'm heading down the railroad from my home. I'm not exactly sure where this thing is, but it's supposed to be up there some way. Uh, it was a dare for kids to go in and visit it. I never did, but I think, I think it's up this way. So anyways, I was thinking of how to keep the witch from coming and killing me. I was thinking maybe I should sing like some happy songs. So, um, raindrops keep falling on my head. Oh, wait. Actually, now that I think about it, that might be what gets the monster to come and kill you. 
singing happy songs. Okay, never mind.